this video, we're going to teach you some advanced C2 idioms that will help you build your vocabulary and feel confident speaking in English conversations. Let's get started. A drop in the bucket. It means a very small amount compared to the amount needed. Or something small and unimportant, especially when compared with something else. For example, all the money we raised was just a drop in the bucket. We were paid about $50,000, but that was a drop in the bucket. That sometimes in life, our efforts, they might just seem like they're a drop in the bucket. But at least it's a drop in the bucket. In a flash. It means quickly or suddenly. If something happens in a flash, it happens very quickly indeed. For example, the ceremony was over in a flash. The answer came to her in a flash. Just as the children are trying to run after and catch this butterfly, he's trying to capture a moment in their lives, which will be over in a flash. Clear the air. It means to get rid of bad feelings between two people or groups. If you do something to clear the air, you do it to resolve any problems or disagreements that there might be. For example, we had a big argument, but I guess it helped clear the air between us. His letter has cleared the air, we now know where he stands. Do not let days, weeks, or months go by if something upsets you. You want to clear the air fast and forgive completely. Down in the dumps. It means sad or depressed. If you are down in the dumps, you are feeling very depressed and miserable. For instance, she's a bit down in the dumps because she failed one of her exams. Luis is down in the dumps because all his friends are out of town. There's always little kids that are very quiet, they're on a ventilator, they have oxygen, and they seem very, you know, down in the dumps, rightly so, right? And when you start to engage with them and you see a smile. Beat or flog a dead horse. It means to waste time and effort on something when there is no chance of succeeding. For example, he keeps trying to publish it, but I think he's beating a dead horse. He already told you no, don't beat a dead horse. Maybe, uh, maybe just Google it. Right? Uh, and while you're at it, maybe Google um, uh, beating a dead horse. See eye to eye. It means to agree with someone. If two people see eye to eye, they agree with each other. For instance, my sisters don't see eye to eye with me about the arrangements. Alex didn't see eye to eye with me about how to tell my parents about the problem. Truth is that Carl and I don't see eye to eye on some things. We'll just keep this between us, but I actually like the guy. There goes my career. The tip of the iceberg. It means a small sign of a problem that is much larger. If you say that a problem is the tip of the iceberg, you mean that it is one small part of a much larger problem. For example, the people who have died so far could be just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the tip of the iceberg here. These are the ones she got last night. These five strategies are just the tip of the iceberg with what Help Scout is doing right. I'm a huge fan and I am sure they will continue to wow up. Play it by ear. It means to do something without special preparation or to decide how to deal with a situation as it develops rather than acting according to plans made earlier. We can't make a decision yet. Let's just play it by ear. I'll have to play it by ear for next Friday because everything is uncertain. You can sign up for public health insurance any time of year. But otherwise, you can't just play it by ear. You must sign up during open enrollment each year. Grease someone's palm. It means to secretly give someone money to persuade them to do something for you. For example, files don't move in government offices unless you grease the palms of officials. 
We may need to grease someone's palm to keep the story out of the press. You've got perishable goods at the border. The customs official will not clear your goods unless you grease his palm. You choose to grease his palm so you can get your goods out the border. Cry over spilled milk. It means to be upset, worried, or unhappy about something that cannot be changed. Or to grieve over something that can't be put right. For instance, what's done is done. There is no point crying over spilled milk. But you can't cry over spilled milk, you just have to get on with it. It's okay, we'll clean it up. Yeah! Do you know what they say? Don't cry over spilled chocolate milk. <laughs> Before going to the next idiom, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. A fish out of water. It refers to someone who is uncomfortable in a specific situation. If you feel like a fish out of water, you do not feel comfortable or relaxed because you are in an unusual or unfamiliar situation. For example, I felt like a fish out of water at my new school. The poor man looked like a fish out of water, nobody had a clue how to set him up. And then gets to Rawlings and realizes she's just a fish out of water in the face of all of this. Get or have cold feet. It means to feel frightened to do something you had planned to do. If you get cold feet about something, you become nervous or frightened about it because you think it will fail. I was going to try bungee jumping, but I got cold feet. I get cold feet for whatever reason, but you are not going to analyze me. Honestly, I didn't really have time to get cold feet. I got married in like three weeks. Does post cold feet count? Rain on one's parade. It means to do something that spoils someone's plans. For example, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but I have some bad news. It was only after they rained on his parade that he got upset. Puts a little top hat of poop on my good mood. Something will always rain on my parade. Have a sharp tongue. It means a tendency to say very critical things to people or to be someone who often criticizes and speaks severely. Jane has a sharp tongue, so be warned. Despite her sharp tongue, she inspires loyalty from her friends. She fills the role of shrew by having unpopular opinions, a sharp tongue, and a staunch unwillingness to fit in with what she considers an oppressively patriarchal high school status quo. Let sleeping dogs lie. It is said to warn someone that they should not talk about a bad situation that most people have forgotten about. For example, I thought about bringing up my concerns but decided to let sleeping dogs lie. Lana knew she should report the accident but decided to let sleeping dogs lie. And of course, the fools at the FECU couldn't do, you know, just let sleeping dogs lie with this one. You lost, suck it up, move on, don't let the Supreme Court get their hands on it and make it the law of the land. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, write down an example of one of these idioms in the comments section. See you in the next videos.